Hello, today I don't speak about IBM Power, IBM IX or Linux on Power, uh, at least not directly about it. Uh, I want to speak about Ansible Automation Platform 2 and a new feature I found very useful for it. So let's, I will share my screen and we will speak about it a little bit. So this is my screen and I prepared a very small playbook just to test that IBM Power IX collection works. And it says no files attribute to minus one for user root. And we can test it and it should work. If everything works. Looks good. So, and now I installed the new Ansible automation platform and want to import the playbook into the Ansible automation platform. So, here it is. I add a new project. So, it is Git. I need to find. Git URL, source control credential. And here we see new option which doesn't, uh, which didn't exist in Ansible Tower. It comes with Ansible Automation Platform 2 execution environment. So if we open the options, so we see four default execution environments. Just take one of them. Default is always good, I think, at least. Save. And it tries to sync the repository and I hope it will do it. Sure. Okay. Everything is good. So let's create a new job. I have my small inventory. So this is project. Again, execution environment. Okay. Default. And the only playbook there. So my SSH key. I think I don't need anything more. Save and test. Oops. And I see the problem. So the playbook which worked very well in my local environment doesn't work in Ansible Automation Platform. It says uh, I can find IBM PowerX user. So default execution environment of Ansible Automation Platform 2 doesn't know anything about collections. So we have to change something and I will show you. So it's quite easy. It uh, doesn't show here, but it uh, was shown in the previous output. It searched for the file with uh, requirements.yaml. So, and it should have just three lines. Oops. Collections and the name of the collection we need. I committed to The repository and push. So I need to sync the project again. Okay. 
and here it is. It found requirements YAML and I hope it installed the collection. So let's try again if we can start our job and if it works. Yeah, now it looks better. So it worked. What happened? Okay, so what are these execution uh, environments? The execution environments are just small containers, Docker containers, which contain Ansible, Python, and your collections, the collections you need. Why you, should you care about it? So let's say I have a playbook which works with IBM Power AX collection version 1.4. And I have another playbook which I develop right now. And it requires uh, the collection IBM Power AX 1, I don't know which is the last version, let's say 7.0. So these are two versions and, with, uh, and two playbooks and the first playbook is already in production and it works and the second playbook is just being developed. So and uh, I don't want to uh, break my production playbook. So and in this case I can create two different execution environment. One execution environment with the, with the older collection and one execution environment with the newer collection. And just test if it will work or if it will not work and which problem will I have. Hopefully no problems. And uh, this is the biggest difference from my point of view uh, from Ansible Tower because in Ansible Tower you had just one execution environment and you can, could install just one version of a Galaxy collection. Now you can have as many Ansible and execution environments as you want. And it is very easy to build such an execution environment. I hope I will be able to show you. So it will take a little bit time. And I need to open. So here it is, another window. And this is the tower installation. And first of all, I will change to user AWX. It's a user for tower. And if I, if I say all my images here, well, I will see several images. So, and these are these three images are images for default execution environment which came with Ansible Automation Platform. So I hope I prepare something here. Yes. So, and I will kind of context. And this is, these are two configuration files for execution environment. The first file, just say, I, mean, I want to build an execution environment, a new execution environment, and we have Galaxy dependencies. So which are in requirements? In requirements YAML, so this is the same file which I created before to show that I need IBM Power AX collection in this, uh, in this execution environment. So then I have to install Ansible Builder. Oh, sorry. It was in the wrong directory, Ansible Builder. It is already installed. It's good. And I can build a new execution environment. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Here it is. So this is the command to build. And uh, the most important options, uh, as for me, uh, wasn't specified in the Red Hat documentation is this minus T. Take for the name of the future 
execution environment. So IX execution environment latest. So let's build it. It should be rather fast in my environment because I already downloaded all the images. But if you build your first execution environment, it will download uh, container images for, for such as this Ansible Builder image or Ansible Rana image. And it will take some time. So as for me, it's already ready. I have one image and I can see Podman images. I see here localhost slash IXEE latest image. So I need this name. I go back to Ansible Automation Platform Execution Environment and I say here add. I have a new um, X execution environment. So, and I will say here localhost slash XEE double point latest. And I shouldn't pull it because it is a local image. That's it. So let's go to our jobs. Oops, not to job, to templates. Change. And I want to have X execution environment, which we created right now. So save. Launch. Let's see if it works. So, it looks good. Yeah. It works. So, and now let's try to do the last step. I edit here requirements YAML file, and now I just remove it. Oops. My playbook looks now uh, exactly the same as it was before we started. So I synchronize the project again. Here it is. It can't find any requirements, YAML, any collections. But we'll start a job again. And as you see, it starts and works, even without requirements YAML, because it finds in a execution environment the collection, IBM PowerX collection, and it uses it. So And so you can build your own execution environments. Um, what do you need uh, for IBM IX? For IBM I, you can uh, install there your uh, collections or IBM collections such as they are for Oracle or for SAP and automate your environment. So that's all what I wanted to show you today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, have a good week.